Hello everyone and welcome to Fatma Sami's channel. Today's video is for the 4th grade semester 2. In this video, we're going to do some exercises on Unit 6, Class Book. Unit 6. Our Town. Look at the picture carefully. How many places in a town do you know? Now, Look at the picture again and try to answer the following questions. Let's see the answers. How many hobbies can you see? 4. Football, skipping, fishing, riding a bike. Find three jobs. Police officer, waiter, bus driver. What's wrong in the picture? Some letters are the wrong way around in the supermarket sign. Exercise number two. Listen, point, and repeat. Number one. Market. Number two. Square. Number three. Shopping mall. Number four. Car park. Number five. Train station. Number six. Bus stop. Number seven. Hotel. Number eight. Mosque. Number nine. Cafe. Number ten. Clothes shop. shop. Number nine. Bread. Number twelve. Zoo. Exercise number three. Look for the words from activity 2 in the picture on page 32. Write the missing word. The missing word is clothes shop. Exercise number 4. Read the sentences and write the missing words. Then say. Let's see the answers. Number 1. I want to buy food. I can go to the market. Number two, I want to buy a lot of different things. I can go to the shopping mall. Number three, I want to travel in and out of the city. I can go to the bus stop. Uh, number four, I want to have fun time. I can go to the park, the cafe or the zoo. Number five, I want to sit outside. I can go to the square. Exercise number five. In pairs, ask an answer. Use the words in the box to help you. Let's see the example. Where can I buy a t-shirt? You can go to the cloth shop or the shopping mall. Look at the pictures of the story carefully. Find four places in a town. There is train station, mosque, hotel, cafe. Now, find someone in a black and yellow uniform. The engineers are wearing black and yellow uniforms. Now, let's read the story. The flood. Hey, Luti, come and help help us with our social studies project. It's about our town, hundred fifty years ago. I saw at the box shop yesterday. I have got these books and these old maps. That's interesting. The train station and mosque were here, a hundred fifty years ago. But the zoo and the shopping mall weren't. They are modern. There was a wadi in our town 150 years ago. Where is it now? It's underground now. Under the roads. There is a deep flood in the town next to the cafe. We don't know why. Hey! Look at this map 150 years ago. There was a wadi next to the cafe. 
Yes, that wadi is underground now. Maybe the wadi is the problem. We must tell someone. Come on. Boo, go and look. Be very quiet. I was very quiet. And what was down there? The wall is broken. The wadi is coming out. It was very noisy. Excuse me. There is an underground wadi next, next to the cafe. The float is coming from there. Oh, okay. Thank you. We were right. Well done, Discovery Team. Exercise number three. It's a cafe now. But what kind of shop was it? 150 years ago. Go to page 106 to find out. Use page 32 to help you. The answer is it was a clothes shop. Exercise number four. After you read, number the sentences in the correct order. Let's see the answers. Number one. Fatima and Sammy are doing a project in the shed. Number two. The children watch the news and hear about the flood. Number three. The children go to the square. Number four. Boo goes underground. Number five. The children tell the man about the underground wadi. Exercise number one. Look back. Take the sentence in this picture. Let's see the answer. The answer is number two. There was a wadi in our town 150 years ago. Exercise number two. Listen and repeat. She was at the zoo a week ago. They were at the market yesterday. Were you at the cafe last night? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Where were you yesterday morning? I was at the shopping mall. Exercise number three. Listen and circle. Listen carefully. Number one. Hi, Hazza. Hi, Hamza. How was your weekend? It was good. Thanks. I was at the zoo on Saturday afternoon with my family. Weren't you there a week ago too? Yes, I was, but we love going to the zoo. Number two. How about you, Nora? It was a bit boring. I was at the market with my dad on Saturday. Number three. How was your weekend, Hamza? It wasn't very exciting on Saturday. I was at the cloth shop with my grandpa, looking for new trousers but there weren't any in the shop. Now, check your answers. Exercise number four. Circle the correct answer. Let's see the answers. Number one. I wasn't at the book shop yesterday evening. Number two. Were you at the market two weeks ago? Yes, we were. Number three. Ali wasn't at the zoo last night. Number four. They were on holiday in Salala last summer. Exercise number five. In pairs, ask an answer. Where were you? Let's see the example. Where were you last Saturday? I was at the zoo. Exercise number one. Point and repeat. Number one, noisy. Number two, busy. Number three, cheap. Number four, expensive. Number five, quiet. Number six, safe. Number seven, ancient. Number eight, modern. Exercise number two, listen and sing many years ago 
When I was very small, this town was very quiet and safe. It isn't the same now at all. There were a lot of small, cheap shops. There weren't a lot of noisy roads. There weren't any expensive hotels. It was very different, you know, many years ago. Now, there is a modern shopping mall. There are busy roads and car parks. But there is one place that's still the same. Our ancient mosque and park many years ago. Exercise number three. Listen and repeat. There was an expensive shop. There wasn't a lot of noisy roads. Was there a cafe? Yes, there was. No, there wasn't. Exercise number four. What do you know about your town 100 years ago? Ask and answer. I'll read the questions for you. Number one. Were there any cars? Number two. Was there a noisy train station? Number three. Was there a motron shopping mall? Number four. Was there a busy market? Now I'll read you the example. Were there any cars? No. There weren't, but there were quite roads. Exercise number five. Use the words to make sentences about your town 100 years ago. I'll read the example. I think there was a busy hotel and cheap clothes shop. There wasn't any modern car parks. Historic buildings in Oman. Historic buildings aren't always old. They can be modern too. Let's take a look at three very different historic buildings. Royal Opera House Masqat was built in 2011. Today, people go to the Royal Opera House to see music, art and culture from around the world. The amazing building also has cafes, restaurants and Pretty Gardens. The next one is Jibrin Castle, was built in 1675. Imam Bil Arab bin Sultan built the strong walls of this big building in Bahla. Do you know that it was also a school for Islamic studies and science? Amazing! Sultan Qaboos's Grand Mosque. Masqat was built in 2001. 20,000 people can pray in the beautiful garden, mosque, in Masqat. Inside, there is the world's second biggest carpet. It has 28 different colors. Wow! Fun fact! There are more than 500 forts and castles in Oman. Now think, is there a historic building in your city? Is it modern or ancient? Now let's move to the project. Make a poster of a historic buildings in Oman. Number one. In groups, choose a historic building. Each group must choose a different building. Number two. Find or draw pictures of this building. Number three, write about the building. What's its name? Where is it? Is it ancient or modern? Number four, present your building to the class. Number five, put the buildings together on a poster. Let's see this example. Sahar Fort. This is Sahar Fort. It is in al Batina North Governor. It's an important ancient building. In this page, we're going to read this conversation and answer the question above. Let's read. Hey, Emily. I was at the new shopping mall yesterday with my mom. Really? What was it like? It was very new and modern. There were a lot of shops, 
but it was very busy. Where were you yesterday? I was at the zoo with my dad. How was it? The tickets were expensive, but the animals were amazing. You should go and see it. Good idea. Now let's read and answer the question. Where were Kayla and Emily yesterday? Kayla was at the new shopping mall. Emily was at the zoo. Exercise number four. In pairs, talk about somewhere you visit. Use the places and adjectives in the box or your own ideas. I'll give you my answer as an example. Yesterday, I visited the old market. It was very quiet and traditional. Exercise number one. Look at the text. How many photographs are there? Now, read the text. Istanbul then and now. 400 years ago, Istanbul was very different. The city was small than today. The bus force was very busy with a lot of boats. There weren't any cars or car parks, but there were a lot of horses. There weren't any trains or train stations. The roads weren't very safe. There were a lot of markets, but there weren't any cinemas. Galata Bridge was the only bridge in Istanbul. In 1660, there was a huge fire. After the fire, there were very few buildings left in Istanbul. Today, the city is much bigger and it's very busy. If you go to Taksim Square, there are people and tram everywhere. There are a lot of shopping malls, markets and cinemas. There are a lot of bridges in Istanbul now. The most famous bridge is the Bosphor Bridge. Exercise number three. After you read, match the headings to the paragraphs. Let's see the answers. Number one, Istanbul 400 years ago. Number two, the Great Fire. Number three, Istanbul today. Number four, bridges today. Exercise number one. Listen and choose. Listen carefully. I hear you were in London last week. Bayan, tell me about it. It was great. We were in a hotel next to the Victoria train station. It was a big modern hotel. Wasn't that very expensive? No, it was a cheap hotel. Great. Next to the hotel, there was a beautiful park. There was even a cafe in the park. Fantastic. What was your favorite place? My favorite place was the zoo. There were so many animals. Now, let's check the answers. Number one. Last week, Bayan was in London. Number two. Bayan's hotel was modern. Number three. In the park, there was a cafe. Number four. Bayan's favorite place was the zoo. Exercise number two. Talk about your town or city in the past and now. What was there 100 years ago? What is there now? Let's see the example. 100 years ago, there was. Now, there is. Exercise number three. Read Ibrahim's text. What do they build in his city? Let's read the text. My town, then and now. Hi, my name is Ibrahim. I live in Soar. 300 years ago, there were boats from many different countries in Soar. 
There weren't many houses and there weren't any cars or buses. Today, Sur is a big modern city. There are lots of houses, cars, and buses. There is also a beautiful bridge. People also build many boats in Sur. Now, let's answer the question above. What do they build in his city? Boats. Exercise number four. Write about your town or city in the past and now. Number one, plan. What's the name of your town or city? What was there a hundred years ago? Can you, what can you see there now? Then, number two, or write and organize your, your information. Write, I live in. Hundred years ago, there were or there weren't. Today, there are, there aren't. Except number three, check your work. Check a paragraph for each new idea. Commas between adjectives. In this page, we're going to learn about new sounds. Exercise number one. Listen and say. Edge, edge, bread, edge, hedge, edge, stage, edge, large. Exercise number two. Listen and say the tongue twister. The bridge is large and the boat is small. There is a hedge on the stage and it's very tall. Listen again. The bridge is large and the boat is small. There is a hedge on the stage and it's very tall. Exercise number three. Listen and point, write and say. Use the words in the box above to help you. Number one, badge. Number two, gauge. Number three, fridge. Number four, beige. Exercise number four. Look and write, listen, check and say. Let's see the answers. Number one. Bridge, hedge, fridge. Number two, beige, cage, stage. Exercise number one. Talk about the picture of the town. Use the words in the box above to help you. Number one. What was there 50 years ago? Fifty years ago, there was a market, a hotel, a cafe, a clothes shop, a mosque, and a bus stop. What wasn't there? There wasn't a square, a train station, a zoo, a car park, and a bridge. Exercise number two. Write the correct adjective. Let's see the answers. Number one, there are a lot of cars on this street at night. I can't sleep because it's so noisy. Number two, this hotel is very expensive. It costs a lot of money to stay here. Number three, you must be quiet. The baby's sleeping. Number four, come down. It isn't safe to climb to the top of that tree. Now, let's move to the challenge. Challenge your classmates and play the game. Work in two teams. Look back through the unit to find the answers to these questions. Let's see the answers. Number one, find some mountains. The mountains are in page 32. Number two, what wasn't there in Fatima and Sammy's town 150 years ago? A zoo and a shopping mall. Number three, what has big, strong walls? 
Jabrin Castle. Exercise number one. Look, read, and write. Look at this picture. Complete the first two sentences, then answer the two questions. Let's complete the sentences first. Number one. There are two people at the bus stop. Number two. The boy is eating an ice cream. Now, let's answer the next questions. Number one. What is the man in the cafe eating? He's eating lunch or a salad. Number two. What is next to the cafe? A clothes shop. Exercise number two. Read the text and choose the best answer. Let's see the answers. Number one. Where were you yesterday afternoon? I was at the zoo. Number two. Were you with your friend? Yes, I was. Number three. What was it like? It was busy. Number four. Were there lots of animals? Yes, there were. Exercise number one. Play and say. In this page, play this game with your classmate. To win, you have to get the characters to the place where they say they were the day before. Taking turns to spin the spinner and move the counters. You can choose any road you want, but you must follow the instructions on the squares you land on. The first player to reach their destination wins. Graded Reader 1 The Baby Camel in Sarah's town, there is a new zoo. Last Friday, Sarah was in the kitchen with her mom. The zoo was on the TV. Look, mom, there is a baby camel at the zoo. Can we go and see it? Yes, we can. Let's go to the zoo tomorrow. On Saturday, Sarah and her mom were at the busy zoo. There was a tall giraffe, but there wasn't a baby camel. Mom, I can't see the baby camel. Where is it? Don't worry, Sarah. We can find it. There were three large crocodiles, and there were lots of noisy birds at the zoo. But there wasn't a baby camel. Mom, can you see the baby camel? No, I can't. But we can't find it. Don't worry. Sarah was sad, but then there was a small brown nose in the hedge. There were two brown eyes and two brown ears in the hedge, too. Look, Mom, there is the baby camel. It's in the hedge. Oh, yes, it's a beautiful baby camel. Graded Reader 2 The Old Food Market Tala, Hazem, and Marwa live in a big city. Today, there are modern hotels, busy shopping malls, and expensive clothes shops. But the city was different many years ago. Look at this old photo of our city. Many years ago, there was a big food market in the city. The market was near a beautiful bridge. Look, there was delicious food at the old market. I like food markets. Let's make our own food market. There were lots of sweets and cakes at the old food market. There was bread and food fruit there too. We've got a large coconut and some eggs. We can make sweets and cakes 
for our market. We can make bread too. And there is some fruit in the fridge. The children work hard all afternoon. Mom helps them. Then Dad gets home from work. Welcome to our food market, Dad. How can we help you? Can I have a burger, please? Oh, Dad, it's an old food market, not a modern one. In this page, we're gonna learn how to describe places. What adjectives can you say? Now, listen to these adjectives. Number one, beautiful. Number two, crowded. Number three, famous. Number four, popular. Number five, peaceful. Number six, interesting. Exercise number three. Look at the picture. Read and write true or false. Let's see the answers. Number one, the market is crowded. True. Number two, the street is peaceful. False. Number three, the woman is famous. True. Number four, the girl's park is interesting. False. Number five, the clothes in the window are popular. True. Number six, the flowers are beautiful. True. Exercise number four. In pairs, describe the picture in activity three. Let's read the example. The street isn't peaceful. It's crowded. Exercise number one. Look and say. Look at these pictures and try to describe them. Let's see the examples. There is a famous man. It's picture A. Now let's move to show what you know. Find pictures of things for each adjective. Beautiful, crowded, famous, interesting, peaceful, popular. Now make an adjective chain. Number one, choose four of the pictures of adjectives. Number two, cut out four triangles. Number three, stick the pictures on the triangles. Number four, join the triangles with wall. Number five, describe your chain to another group. Exercise number two, listen and read. What should people see in Amman? Muscat is the most famous city, but it's also the most crowded place. I think Sur is more interesting than Muscat. What about beaches? I think Qurm Beach is the most popular beach. Yes, but Tiwi Beach is more peaceful than Qurm. True, I love Oman. It's the most beautiful country in the world. Exercise number three. Complete and act out the dialogue. Choose different places and adjectives. Places like Beach, market, mosque, park, shop, street. Adjectives like beautiful, crowded, famous, interesting, peaceful, popular. Exercise number four. Think about these sports in Oman. Number them one, the most, two or three, the least. Then ask an answer. The sports in the beautiful section are Doha Racing, Camel Racing, Chess. Exciting! We have canoeing, handball, fishing. Interesting! We have running, basketball, swimming. Popular! We have tennis, football, windsurfing. Now, let's read the examples. I think camel racing is more beautiful to watch than chess, but door racing 
is the most beautiful. Do you agree? No, I think tower racing is more beautiful to watch than chess, but camel racing is the most beautiful. I love camels. We have reached to the end of our video today. Thank you for listening and watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.